At one time, the nuclear industry considered alloy 600 indications to be a rarity. Industry inspections, however, began to reveal otherwise, particularly in aging components like the reactor vessel. The potential for alloy 600 indications exists for several key components of the reactor primary system. Reactor vessel head penetrations, bottom-mounted instrumentation nozzle penetrations, and reactor vessel primary nozzles. As a result of these findings, utilities began performing inspections to ensure early detections of indications, creating new risks to outage cost and schedule if components require repair. Plant operators now face a key decision, replace or repair aging components. Both options are costly and significantly impact outage schedule. But what if there were a third option? The nuclear industry continues to support the development of new effective solutions to primary water stress corrosion cracking, or PWSCC. It remains a top industry concern for PWR and BWR units that still use components made of alloy 600 material, weld A82 or A182 filler metals. Three factors contribute to PWSCC. Susceptible material, harsh environment, tensile surface stress. By removing just one of these three factors, tensile surface stress, cavitation peening can prevent PWSCC initiation. The cavitation peening methodology uses an ultra-high velocity jet. This creates a pressure lower than the vapor pressure in water, producing water vapor bubbles, or cavitation. When these bubbles collapse at the surface of the metal, they generate shock waves that exert pressure on the metal and produce compressive stresses. Cavitation peening technology is proven and has been safely used for nuclear power plants in Japan. Since no material is being removed, there's a minimal risk to system components. The process uses water and absolutely no debris is produced. The process is available in the U.S. for use on reactor vessel head nozzles, reactor vessel nozzles, and bottom-mounted nozzles. <laughs>